Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about urolithiasis. Urolithiasis is the stone formation in kidney or in urinary tract. There are mainly four types of stones that are calcium oxalate, calcium oxalate, calcium phosphate, urate, and magnesium ammonium, ammonium phosphate, which is also known as strive or stackhorn, stackhorn calculi. The prevalence of calcium oxalate is approximately 60%. The 60% of stones are mainly calcium oxalate and 15% are, are calcium phosphate, 10% are urate and 15% are, are, are stackhorn calculi. So what are the causes of urolithiasis? There are mainly two main causes of urolithiasis. First is environmental and dietary causes and acquired causes. So, in, in environmental causes, for example, low volume of blood, which cause more concentration of fluid in the tract. Similarly, high protein diet, high protein diet, and high, high sodium diet, high sodium diet, and increase excretion of oxalate, excretion of oxalate. Oxalate. Now, the acquired causes are hypercalcemia, 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 ileal disease, ileal disease, ileal disease. In ileal disease, there is, or in in ileal disease, or in, in ileal resection also, in ileal resection also, there is increased oxalate, oxalate absorption. So when more oxalate is absorbed there is increased urinary excretion okay when increased excretion of oxalate there is formation of oxalate stone similarly type 1 renal tubular acidosis also cause the urinary stones now there are some congenital causes which also cause the formation of stone for example familial hypercholesterolemia Sorry, familial hypercalciuria. Hypercalciuria. Okay. Similarly, primary hyper, primary hyperoxyuria. This also causes stone formation. Now, what are the signs and symptoms of stones? Main symptoms are pain, hematuria. Hematuria. The pain is usually the flank pain, radiating. To anterior abdomen, testis, or flanks. Similarly, the pain is steadily, steadily increase and peak in few minutes. So these are the feature of pain. Similarly, there there will be pallor, sweating, sweating, dysuria, and frequency. also present when there is stone in urinary tract now what are the investigations first investigation will be ct scan of kidney urinary uh, kidney and urinary bladder which is gold standard gold standard investigation other investigations are plain x-ray plain x-ray for calcium stones similarly ultrasound ultrasound it is usually done for young patient in which the radiation exposure in which radiation radiation exposure exposure is dangerous so we will do ultrasound similarly we will measure blood level of calcium phosphate urate bicarbonate pth all these levels are also measured similarly we will do urine dipstick for dipstick dipstick for proteins and 24 hour urine collections urine collection this is done in order to measure 
urea urea and creatinine now we will discuss about management of urolithiasis for renal colic there is as there is pain so we will give analgesics analgesics and antiemetics as there is vomiting also so in the drugs are diclofenac diclofenac morphine etc similarly we will give antibiotics antibiotics in stakhon stakhon stone and pyonephrosis pyonephrosis as there is separated infection due to stone so we, in, in this condition we will give antibiotics similarly for larger stones we will we will give laser or we will do percutaneous nephrolithotripsy similarly we can also do extracorporeal shock wave lithotripsy for urate for urate stone for urate stone we will give allopurinol so that the urate level goes down if there is cysteine urea cysteine urea we will give penicillamine penicillamine therapy similarly as this alkalize alkanize urine which discourage the formation of urate stone formation of urate stone so we will give penicillamine for cysteine urea so this is all about urolithiasis thanks for watching